Okay, um, this is an A-I-P-T-E-K, I believe it's pronounced Apetek. Um, it's 35 lumens, it's got a micro USB charge, micro HDMI, uh, and has a wraparound built-in uh, MHL cable. That's pretty cool. Uh, just comes right out on this side, plugs into any phone. Uh, except the Note 4 and some of the Samsung, so you have to use one of these 5 to 11 pin USB uh, converters. Uh, this is the Coolux QX, uh, the one without Wi Fi. Um, it's a great projector, it's about 120 lumens. It's got a USB host, um, TF full size HDMI, um, and a 5000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, this is the AAXA, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, AXA, uh, 300 lumens, uh, P300, I believe. Uh, it's got a battery, kind of stupid. Uh, when you pull it out, you have to connect and disconnect a jumper on the inside, uh, just kind of difficult. Uh, full HDMI, TF, um, uh, everything. So 300 lumens, and I'm going to try and do some comparisons. So this is the AIPTEK Apetek, uh, 35 lumens, uh, with pretty decent light. This is the Coolux at 120 to 140 lumens. I'm a bit skeptical of that. And as much as the 35 lumen one seems to be a little bit brighter. Um, but also you got to, I guess, figure in that the um, Apetek is showing a pure white image, whereas the other one is uh, like a sky blue, I think it's intended to be. Uh, it has two modes, high brightness and low brightness. Um, it certainly does seem to go forever on battery. And this is the AXA P300, 300 lumens. Uh, but I'm not sure how many lumens it does plugged in versus unplugged. Right now it's running solely on batteries. Uh, so it seems to be somewhat darker uh, than under power. And again, this is in a decently lit room. I'm going to pause and turn the lights off and see what we've got. So... P300 uh, side by side with the um, uh, Coolux, which they advertise as 120 to 140 lumens. I'm very skeptical. <laughs> uh, and a side by side with the 35 lumen. Um, Ape Tech, I don't know the model number, um, there's no branding on it, there's no logo, there's, uh, there's nothing. 